Hi Cancer, happy holidays. This is going to be your general reading for January 2018. So let's just start. Um, guys, love readings are gonna be up probably um, uh, by New Year's, okay? I'm working hard on getting everything out and the yearlies are gonna be up in January, okay? <laughs> so uh, Cancer, recent past. What was happening in the recent past for Cancer? Okay, let's see. Queen of Swords could be dealing with an air sign in the past or could actually be... Oh, okay. All right. No, I think it was you cutting somebody out of your life, okay? Somebody that was not making you feel either self-confident, you know, somebody that was definitely affecting your worth somehow. If you're not dealing with anybody at all, this could be simply you trying to cut out certain behaviors, you know, maybe because the year is almost over and we're trying to change a lot of things about ourselves to go into the new year, you know, more positive and, uh, yeah, um, <clears throat> I'm still kind of sick and I'm sorry about my voice, guys, and I feel like you put an end to something, okay, it could be, yeah, it could very well be an air sign in your life, could be a Scorpio in your life, could be a Taurus in your life, but somebody definitely had to be cut out, okay, because it was unfair in this situation. Whoever you were dealing with, uh, you know, maybe it could be very well something medical you could be dealing with. All right, now, what is happening in January 2018 for Cancers? Strength. Of course, going into the new year with uh, too many cards, with uh, self-discipline possibly. Okay, because something was not making you happy in the past. This is a card of kind of pretending to be happy. Okay, this is not a card of being completely unhappy, which some of you I'm sure were, okay, in the recent past. But I feel like a lot of this has to do uh, with uh, negative people from the past, you know, negative situations that you're trying to kind of run away from or just move forward from, you know, and you're having strength to do that. The Fool, you know, talks about some kind of a new beginning coming up right at the beginning of the year, which is amazing, guys. This is something adventurous. This is something uh, possibly risky, okay? Something that you have to take a risk with. And I feel like you're willing to do that. I feel like you're trying to change your life in some way, okay? The air fund, nice. Uh -huh. However, there is some kind of a commitment, you know, possibly commitment if it's a job or something like that, something that's very conventional to you, something that you are used to, okay? Something very familiar, something that you know works, something that your family and friends might accept, you know, something that the society accepts. I feel like you're not able to move away from it, but you want to. You want to move into something new, something possibly more stable, okay, Ace of Pentacles is a very stable uh, ace, <laughs> it's a financial beginning, you know, it could be a practical beginning, could be something slow and steady, if it's a relationship, you know, it could be a friendship turning into a relationship, something like that, I feel like there is something in your life that you're still kind of stuck on, whether it's a job or something so familiar, but you know it's not right, you know, or you know it's not completely what you want it to be, or you want to turn it into something new, you want to change it up a little bit, you know, sorry, you want to change it up a little bit, you want um, to improve it, possibly, okay, but you're having a hard time doing that, let's see, what's next, I mean, I do like your spread for now, guys, Queen of Cups in reverse, you could be dealing with another water sign, or this is you feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Yeah, this is, okay guys, well for some of you, you know, uh, for some of you that have been um, having a lot of rough patches emotionally in the past, I feel like you're not completely understanding that a lot of things um, that are negative are almost over in your life, you know, Ten of Swords is a card of a negative cycle being over. However, it's in reverse. When it's in reverse, uh, to me, in you know, from my personal experience, from the readings I've done, this is when people aren't feeling like the, like it's completely over. To be quite honest with you, I'm having Ten of Swords in reverse sometimes in my life too. This is not being able to let go of the negative situation. Um, wondering if there is still something else to it. Wondering if this negative situation is going to come back, not letting it go completely. Not letting go of the like, betrayal, maybe, as well. 
But you need to do that, you know, you need to turn yourself upright and ten of swords upright. That way you can reach some kind of independence, you know. This is a card of happily single person, but this is also a card of feeling independent, feeling happy in all areas of your life, possibly, you know, in financial um, area. But this is something that you definitely need to work on, you know. You want to be independent and just feel better in the new year but there is something you definitely need to let go of and maybe kind of stabilize your emotions now what's next for cancers page of wands in reverse the magician in the reverse wow three cards in reverse so I've got, yeah, Page of Wands in reverse, the Magician in reverse, and Four of Cups in reverse. I feel like the Magician here is not a person. I feel like it's you not putting effort, sorry, not putting effort into manifesting something that you really, really need, okay? This is uh, a card of missing a good offer, something that um, is being offered to you, but you, you don't realize how good it actually is. You know, you're hesitating, you are stubborn to even look at it, to even consider it. You're pretty apathetic. Page of Wands in reverse talks about not, um, not quite feeling lazy, I wouldn't say that, but not wanting to put any effort into something, into some kind of a project, you know. For a good part of you here, it is a financial reading, to be quite honest. There is something, some kind of a financial project, some kind of a... Um, school possibly you know maybe or a job that you're either like career you're either trying to improve or to find something new which you will guys you will if not in january then sometime soon trust me but i feel like you need to let go of a lot of things before you actually are able you know to bring justice into your life something definitely was unfair something that you had to cut out um which had already made the first step so you only gotta move forward from here you know, this is a missed opportunity. The magician in reverse, I don't think it's a manipulator in your life. I think it's you not having confidence in you to manifest something in your life that you want, okay? And that some effort needs to be put into it. Um, let me pull, pull the outcome cards for you guys. So what is the outcome for Cancers for January 2018? Nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, so two of cups in reverse. I do not think that it's a breakup for those that are in relationships or marriages or, you know, have uh, partnerships at work or anything like that. I feel like this is just um, refusing to compromise, okay, with somebody in your life. It could be a parent, it could be a brother or sister, it could be, again, a co-worker, you know, somebody that you could possibly uh, cut out of your life before, or somebody that's not agreeing with you, somebody that's not supporting you, that energy might be present. Okay, Nine of Cups, though, talks about you being satisfied with whatever it is, you know, wishes coming true, wishes being granted, you working towards your wish, okay? Um... What well, better card can you get? I mean, you can get some better cards in the outcome, yes, but this is a good enough card to get in the outcome. You know, Nine of Cups, yes, the person is alone in the picture, but he's fine. Like, he's happy with what he has. Seven of Swords, as you're going through this, you're definitely deceiving yourself a little bit. Okay, so watch out for that. And then Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is action. Okay, to me, it's a card of passion and action. So you basically have to put all your strength together. You know, you pull. All your strength together you know you have to focus on something that you want in order to achieve it and I feel like you're actually gonna be successful at it guys because with nine of cups here you're definitely happy okay in the outcome so guys I'm glad that your month turned out this way I wish it could be even better but I feel like it's gonna be great okay and guys thank you for watching and I will see you in my love spread thank you bye bye